fearless. Um, it's not necessarily becoming fearless automatically, but stepping, stepping a toe in the water and not running back, and then putting another toe in the water and not running back. And um, there comes a point, I mean, in yoga class, it's like, do a handstand. I can't do a handstand. Come to downward facing dog two seconds later without them knowing it. They're in handstand. And we had one woman yesterday that just started screaming, oh my God, look at me, look at me. Ah! Um, so just those tiny, tiny little steps, if we can do them without you know, having to see the shoreline. I mean, Pema Chodron, amazing, the way that she talks about moving from fear to fearlessness. And it's not necessarily a direct path. There's that middle point where you sit with the questions. You don't have to have the answers. You know, most of us spend, could spend our life there if we weren't so busy clinging to the shore, to the familiarity, to the home base. You know, we live in a world of duality. We live in a world where you describe yourself as a person that has a lot of fear or someone else is fearless. And really, when you're in that middle ground that Colleen's talking about, about is there either one? Is there fear or fearlessness? Maybe it's not even that it exists at all. Maybe both of them fear and fearlessness is an identity that we're holding on to. Maybe the middle ground actually has no label. And that's, that's a, a funny little place, and it is mm -hmm. a place of queasiness. It's a place of centering without an orientation. I mean, you know, for many thousands of years, uh, people thought the Earth was the center of the universe. You know, and then as astronomers are finding out, well, well, wait, we're not even the center of the galaxy, and our galaxy, who knows where it is in the universe? So we've constructed an idea of fearless and fearlessness, so we can be in the middle of both of them. But it's a strange thing. Is life either one of them? Or does life exist in some queasy moment before we actually identify that I'm either fear fearful or fearless? And so... When you say, oh, fearlessness, in some ways I think that gives the student the improper idea because then they, they're, they're striving for, well, I'm striving to be a fearless warrior. And it's like, really? Is that, what, is that what makes courage? Do we need more courage to become fearless? Maybe that's the wrong movement completely. Then it's just like school. Oh, you do this, you get a good grade. Do that, you get a good grade. That's what our, it seems like our whole life is based on this duality of, of like, okay, if I do this, then I get this. If I do this, then I get this. And fear and fearlessness. It's like maybe life exists somewhere in between.